Introducing the Confession Booth! This is what you woke us up for? Guys, be nice. They worked hard on this. I'm gonna have to agree with Jax on this one. It doesn't matter. What can a stupid booth do that my room doesn't already? Oh, my big mouth. I'm glad you asked, Zubel. The confession booth is a small enclosed space to let out all your grievances. Talk, cry, shout! Have a mental breakdown. All that and more possible in our soundproof haven. Abe and I figured that airing out our feelings is the next best thing for us. Since I don't think we'd get far with the NPCs. And I don't think we trust Kane with our emotions. We thought that screaming into the nothing would be the next best thing. So when you say anything, you mean... ANYTHING! Including... Yes. F***! Holy sh Out of the way, Zubel. Kane's a b who likes hookers and How'd you like that, Kane? Well, I'm sure you said such wonderful things about me, I truly don't know. Pomni suggested that it would not feel as safe if I collected your data while you were in there. So the moment you stick your little heads in there, it's complete silence for your friends and for me. That's about all my use for it anyway. I'm going back to bed. See ya. I love Twilight! We had a cooking activity last week, and I told Pomni her food was good. It wasn't. I think a pair of hands are out to get me. Everywhere I turn, they're always there. I wasn't gonna use you, but Gangle told me to try it out. Hey, get a load of this one, Kate. God, that feels good. I stepped on my favorite centipede. Why am I so weird? I feel like if I let myself be sad, I'll be irreparable. Sometimes I look at my parts and I wish I could just break them. whoop de doo Good job, Omni. Years worth of bullshit fixed by a digital cylinder. Why would I need to go back now? <laughs> I'm practically in heaven. Even if I never ended up here, would... Anyone even take me seriously? Everyone keeps coming to me like I'm some sort of safe haven. But the moment that I ask for something, suddenly I'm invisible. Except it doesn't matter who I end up being, because I'll always be a f up. Right. I'll always be a dumb rabbit. Agatha, are you okay? Evening, Gangle. You're done with that one already? Yep. I did not want to be alone with my thoughts after the day I had. Aww. Why do you like that booth, anyhow? Oh, you used the booth? That booth and I got comfortable over time. At first, it really hurt, but it's nice to get it all out. And I felt a little better after talking with a friend or watching a video. Anime cheered you up? Or like Toad singing Megalovania. <laughs> <laughs> Never change, Gangle. No. No, I'm not, actually. Thanks. I'm happy I'm friends with you, Zubel. It's whatever. 